Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to appreciate God for the opportunity he gave to me. My name is Brother Daniel Monurity. I want to glorify God for being a workforce in the Cross Christian Center. It's a great privilege unto me because he has added so many things into my life. And I want to thank my daddy in the Lord. He's a good mentor. He's, in fact, I'm happy working under him as a father. He's, in fact, if you look at me, you see there are so many things have changed in my life. He's the work of my father. I say thank you, daddy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sister Yoko Miriam. I appreciate God. Since I joined uh, this worker forum, in short, everything about me has changed. My spiritual life, my children, in short, I don't know what to say than to say thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm Oluwa Kemi David. I'm here to appreciate God Almighty. It's not that I build a house or that I have a car. Because of that, I come to testify. But I'm here in the presence of God to stand and appreciate God because God has been so great, has been so awesome. I remember some years ago while I was still in school, I wanted to leave my former church. But before then, I've made the determination that nothing will make me leave that church because that, is, that was where I was brought up you know, spiritually. Then, but something happened that I, I have to leave. But I pray to God. I learned something from my late mom. She always says that church is not a place that you can just put your head into. You have to seek God first. Then, sister, I've been praying to God. I said, God, I need a church that I will go, that I will be spiritually fed. You understand? But during that time, when I leave school, I'll come to a church nearby. I sister moderate to attend that church. That church, we will dance and dance and dance. But me, I, will not, I, will just, I don't feel anything. But one day, I met with my father in the Lord. And that day, he told me one thing. He said, I want you to be my daughter. I was happy because I've never, a pastor has never said that to me. You know, I was happy. Then, suddenly, the Cross Christian Center came to my backyard. Ha. I said, this is a testimony. God has done it for me. And since that time, God has been so faithful. My spiritual life was robust, was ga ga ga, was ke ke ke. I just want to appreciate God for all this. Daddy, God bless you. And mommy, God bless you. To my fellow workers, I love you, especially, especially my choir members. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to sing a song to God, to exalt the name of God. And it goes thus. Honey, do roll me a shake. If you know the song, you can sing along with me. Honey, do roll me a shake. Hello, honey, do roll me a shake. Toba sheni, your Lord, do roll me a timaku. Toba sheni, your Lord, do roll me a timami. Toba sheni yon lo duro ni ati ma soro. Oni duro mi e she gong. Oni duro mi e she gong ni o. Hani toba jeni yon lo duro ni ati ma soro. Toba sheni yon lo duro ni ati ma kun. Abibeko. Toba sheni yon lo duro ni ati ma soro. Toba sheni yon lo duro ni ashiregun o. Honi duro mi e Praise the Lord. For those that don't understand Yoruba, I'm saying that mighty man, Akoni, we call him Akoni. That's why we call him the mighty man in battle. He's the one that's always been standing in for Ketura. Because if it were to be man, they would have been shaken. If it were to be man, they would have been complaining. If it were to be man, they would have been talking, you know, at your back like gossiping. But because he is the mighty man in battle, that's why I give all the glory to his name. I just want to bless the name of the Lord, first for the salvation of my soul, second for, you know, searching me out from darkness into his marvelous light. It is a privilege. I remember yesterday I was washing, and you know, something just struck my mind. I, I, I looked back, and I smiled. I said, come, it is a privilege 
to serve God. It is just a privilege. I want to bless God for this privilege to serve him. I remember then, you know, when I was in, in, in my former church, anytime we go for service and it's time to share the grace, it's as if we're about starting another service because there's still some unquenchable thirst inside of me. Like I'm still not filled with the word and with the meat. I keep hitting there. But you know, the first time I stepped my feet here, I told someone, I remember when I was taking the foundational class, I said I came to look. Our will run Yes, I came to do a ball. They said something is going on here. And I said, oh, well, let me go. Ma, see how it be. But when I came, I was just having these questions in my heart. But when I went back home, God met with me. He showed me a father in the Lord. You know, he showed me the past. That's why there is nothing you can tell me that can take me like out of the fold. Because he showed me where he was and he showed me where he is. Like when daddy took the suit, he took the mic and started ministering. And right from there, he planted the love of this ministry into my heart. I want to bless God. That's why I sang that song. I remember the last time I went home and my daddy told me, said, he looked at me. He said, do you know we need to have a meeting? I said, yes. He said, um, who is that person? He didn't say, who is that God? He said, who is that person that is standing at Gidigba behind me? The way he put it in Yoruba, he said, Talon tie leni, talon kie laya. Who is that man that keep giving you, you know, mind against me? For you to go against my own will, not the will of God. And I told daddy, I said, by the grace of God, when I was coming into Ibadan, I saw so many mad people. I saw so many people begging for harms that I'm not even better than. But one thing I noticed, the Holy Spirit told me, said, had it been you were not found by me, you would have been part of them. Because when you are not treading in your destiny, in the path of your destiny, you would have been part of maybe the mad people or the beggars or something. I want to give glory to the name of God. I want to exalt the Adagba Makpa Roye. Alagba Daino, Alawa Tele Oru. Eminitin Je Emini, Emini Mashe Beru. Abu Woma Shekwe, if some people will say she has started again, but now me know how the thing take do me. I want to exalt the mighty man in battle, the holy man of Israel, the God of calling, the God of testimony. I want to exalt this man of Galilee, for it is a privilege, oh, definitely, to serve him. I say glory, honor, Adoration be unto his holy name now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Jennifer Ojigo. I really want to appreciate the name of the Lord. He's been so mighty. He's been so awesome to me. I never regretted coming into this ministry. I really appreciate the love in this ministry how I was welcomed, I really want to give God the praise. I really want to appreciate God because I did not just decide to come here, but he showed it to me that this is where I should be. I remember meeting our father in the Lord when something brought me here and daddy ministered to me. And before then, I was having this urge of living where I was worshiping because of some things happening which I disclosed to daddy. Also, my spiritual life was not what it was supposed to be. And then I was confused because I do attend CLAM for prayers and also come here. But whenever I'm there or here, I feel I'm supposed to be in one of these places. So I had to pray over it. And our father in the Lord, our daddy is so spiritual that he already knew I was supposed to be here. Because I could remember one very day when I came for the first time I attended the African praise. I still came for the family months. Our daddy now texted me that night and said, it seems you have made up your mind to be part of us. I smiled. And I replied, that, Daddy, I'm still praying about it. Daddy told me just a word that gave me the, 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 that gave me the mind to be able to, to start coming here. He told me that the Lord has already confirmed it 
I'm just taking my time. So I said, Daddy, it's true. And not only that, I started attending here. And I, I made a vow in me that wherever I would start worshipping, I would not like to be among the workers any longer. Because I was once a worker. But while I was worshipping here, I would always be having this urge. And I knew my place of assignment. But I still wanted to hear from God. It was so, it was so, so surprising. Apart from before I even chose here of worship, the Lord started showing me here, started showing me daddy every time in my dream. Secondly, he now showed me when daddy will always be calling me out to sing. I said, I don't understand this kind of dream. I came to tell our father in the Lord, our daddy, and he said, you are supposed to be among the choir. I said, okay, without wasting time, I joined. And I really want to appreciate the love of God in this place. Something happened while I joined. Ever since in my place, my former ministry, the Lord has never given me a song. But since when I started attending this place and I joined the choir, the Lord gave me songs in my dream. I wake up and I remember the songs and I'm able to write them. I have about three which the Lord has given to me. I told Daddy one time that this is what is happening to me. He said that's what happened when you are in your right place, where you are supposed to be. Although still in the workers of training, I really want to appreciate the love of God in this place and for my spiritual life. And also, I cannot just and take the love of Daddy for granted. Whenever I'm down, Daddy is always there to give you a word to, to, to make you stand. I really appreciate him for his love. Daddy, God bless you. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Olabad Mdile Marcos. My testimony goes this way. I have a song to render. Just one minute. Alagbara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Lato Biju, you are the glorious God. The reason for that song is consigning my life. Every day I keep on wondering what really happened to my life. I don't know. The transformation was so, it came sudden, suddenly. Then, 2012, when I stepped into this ministry, and I thank God up to this moment of wish for till eternity, I have no regret of stepping my feet on this mountain. Every day by day, I keep on wondering, how did God do this? There are times I look at myself as if I'm twins. Somebody is the one hand, holding or behaving the past life. It's as if I'm looking at that person. I will sit down at times, or when I'm at home, I'll just look at myself. What I could not do while I was in the world, which I believe I'm having a lot of cash, then now I'm doing greaterly better far than those days. And things come to me at ease. St no stress, no struggling. You see, I, I realized one thing about Christ, the peace. If I'm, on, if, I'm on, if I'm on mountain, call it any day. I tell you I had weight. People will be asking me in the office, every day you are, hiding, you are coming fat, every day you have... Meanwhile, I'll be looking at them, smiling. And I realize that it's not the food that my wife is giving to me. It's not the about the fufu or whatever weight. It's the grace of God in me. And that peace of God, that is what is adding such weight into my life. And, and, and at the same time, it was on this mountain... I know what they call Christ. I stopped going to church well, at the age uh, like I was like twenty something years of age. I stopped going to church. That was nineteen eighty six until I got to this month in two thousand and twelve. You can imagine that two thousand and eighty six to two thousand and twelve. Look at what I've what I've passed through or missed. But I thank God that. I did not die before Christ pulled me out from the darkness, brought me into this limelight. And I thank God I did not 
He did not take me to any ministry anyhow. He, bring, he brought me straight down to the Cross Christian Center where I get myself. I really know what Christ is. I'm one of those guys outside there. Then I will be saying, these people are very useless. They call themselves a Christian. Walking day, they will be shouting, die, 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 die. Amen, amen, amen. Now, that the same person of those of old is the one who say, I will leave office, I will be in the presence of the Lord at any time I feel like. Praise the Lord. And another thing, I don't believe woman can be with me for a week. That is it. When I get to this church, I, some, some things left me over because my temper, when I look at some people, when they exhibit their anger in this church, I look at them, I smile within myself. They don't have any anger. They don't have any temperament. I know what I'm talking about. I can, I can destroy what I built for a million years. I don't care. When the hunger came on me, I destroyed things. Be you, anyhow, no matter love you show to me, when, I'm, when that spirit possesses me, I don't look at your face. I be looking on the floor so that I will not be having any feeling for you to take any, my, any of my action. But I thank God. I'm coming to this mountain. It's during the TCLA. That is the Cross Christian Center Leadership Academy. That is why I realized that this thing is out of me. I know some people, when I go to them, uh, contribution for this. I know some replies of people. In this church, there is some set of people, thank God, they are, not, they are no more in this ministry today. They will be saying, if I have testimony before, that is like, daddy has special, uh, daddy has special prayer for me whenever I come out for testimony. In this church, I, heard, I overheard it. Somebody came to my office and told me, this is what Sister Labada was always saying at home. That whenever I have testimony, daddy will, is, is then daddy will come out and bless that, uh, people that come to testify in this church. I now said, is the testimony of everybody in this church, is it, is it an arrangement testimony or what God did? I'd be looking at them, why people are having this type of mindset. And I said to that girl, that sister, I said, well, I thank God. They have not heard anything concerning my life. And I thank God we are still seeing each other. Every day I pass, oh, good afternoon, ma, good afternoon, sir. I greet, I pass by. They are seeing me and they have not seen anything yet. Because my God is at work. He was just starting with me. Praise the Lord.